Look at this! I got like gross on my head. Today is the day after my wheelchair evaluation, and I am having my, um, what do you call it, EEG done today. Um, they're coming to my house. This is the second one I've had. My first one came back abnormal, and we don't, that's all we know. Um, I'm not sure if that's all the doctor knows, but that's all they were told, and that's all I was told. So, um... I've washed my hair and it's all ready for them to put wires and stuff in it. And I'm not very, like, excited, obviously, because I'm going to have to sleep in this. I'll check back in when she leaves and show you my beautiful head with wires all in it. I'm not ex I'm, like, so nervous because I know that I have to go see somebody. Like, there's no way I can get around it. So I'm gonna like have to go out in a beanie and try to act normal. Like honestly, it doesn't make any sense to be insecure with wires on my head, but I feel like I'm gonna be insecure with them. Because I was insecure on the first day I got it done and I don't know if that's because I just was sick and I wasn't able to wash my hair. Ooh, she's here. Hi. Hi. I'm back! Look at this! I got like gross on my head. So the lady for the EEG just left. I have this that I'm supposed to put on around my neck at night when I'm sleeping. So, like... It looks all weird. I got this hair down still. I'm, I think I might like put it up somehow. I don't know though. Or maybe I might just braid it. I have no idea. It's just kind of randomly awkwardly there. So, I'm going to see somebody today for a second. So I need to, s or not today, but tomorrow. But I need to figure out how to look less crazy. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go get my beanie. But, I'm going to try to put this on so that, um... It'll hide the craziness a little bit more, but I know that these are still going to show. So, this is how I'm going to look when I go out. I'm probably going to braid these sections. So, it looks like I just have two little braids. This shows a little bit, but I can pull that down a little bit and hide all the wackiness. So, this is what I look like. Here's the wires. My arm's getting tired, so I gotta go in a minute. And this is the bag that has the little weird battery thing in it. And then I got this over here, so it's weird. It's got a camera, and it's watching me, so they're gonna see like a little like me doing this YouTube video. I'm kinda like paranoid right now, so I don't know. But just gonna get back to the rest of my day and I don't know so I have really sensitive skin and the top of my head like right here and here and here um, is going crazy it's itching and it's super super tender so I'm not supposed to but I took the gauze off to try to alleviate some of the pain So, it's Monday now, in a few hours I'll be able to take it out. I'm having problems with this one not staying, since I took the gauze off my head. But since I took the gauze off my head, I've been able to tolerate it more. And I was finally able to get some sleep, so. I hope this one didn't mess up too much with it coming off. I press, I'm pressing them on there more, but I'm pretty sure the signal has been off and on to the little machine. 
that's over there in my house. Hey, so I lost some footage, so it's actually been um, a few days since my EEG, and um, I'm having to refilm um, some some of my thoughts. Um, I ended up taking off the bandage, like you saw, and that helped. But when I finally was able to get the um, EEG fully taken off, you know, um, I noticed that there were some red marks on my forehead where um, all the connectors were. And there were like red dots here and all over my head too that we had to look, we were searching for to look for. And they kind of looked like scaly and they were um, almost leather looking circles. It was very strange. It didn't look very bad at all, but it felt a lot worse than it looked. So the lady that did my EEG kind of... Oh, those look fine, you know? She shrugged them off. And I'm like, they look fine, but they don't feel fine, you know? The pain is underneath my skin. Like, the what you're seeing is not... That's not even really what I'm complaining about complaining about you know like having the gauze wrapped around and pressing those little circle things on my head hurt hold on let me get the wires I still have them I didn't wash them off very well so they still kind of got gunk on them but you see these were like attached all over my head I was able to keep the wires and they still have some of the glue stuck inside there but um, having those pressed down on the top of my scalp and then sleeping with them and then having my buns kind of just loosely sitting there you know those little I had small buns all over my head um, it just was not comfortable and it got to the point where I was crying because of how bad it hurt like um, I hadn't fully decided to do YouTube when I was recording all the stuff that has been posted you know and like the EEG um, I didn't update um, y'all as much as I could have so now that I'm like doing YouTube and I'm fully committed to it we'll get a lot better like content I'll get a lot better content out but um these were the wires these were this was all in my head so they were like where are the ends these little things they're different colors you know were connected into that little box thing that I had so I feel like I kind of want to do something with these I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I want to do something with them. I don't know if they'll probably honestly just sit on my floor in my closet until I decide to just like, okay, you're not going to do anything with them and throw them away. But I might do something with them, so I'm going to keep on to them until I guess decide if I'm actually going to just throw them away or whatever. Because, I don't know, they're heavier than I remember. No wonder. But, um, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you click the little bell at the, um, bottom of the screen, you know, you'll get updates whenever I post. And, um, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.